So thanks for watching and have a good night. And finally tonight, Trevor Bain has traded pit row uh -huh. for a coffee shop. Here's a look at his new caffeine craze. Trevor Bain is used to running in circles, but these days it's not speed, but caffeine that fuels the former NASCAR driver. That's probably like everybody's question. <laughs> what in the world are you doing? Trevor asked multiple times during racing, can we open a coffee shop? And I'd say, no way. <laughs> we do not have time for a coffee shop. Now with racing in the rearview mirror, the coffee shop is open. Welcome to Mahalo Coffee Roasters. My wife and I love Hawaii. It's the Hawaiian word for thank you. It's Trevor and Ashton Bain's newest passion in Powell. And I know a lot of people in East Tennessee are going to be like, Mahalo, what, what is it? You know. Racing the Cup circuit, Trevor developed an affinity for coffee. Just kind of fell in love with the coffee industry. He had an espresso machine in his NASCAR motorhome and even served drivers and crew. So I was kind of getting some barista experience at the racetrack. We caught up with Trevor in 2011 in Phoenix, a week after he won the Daytona 500. Are you kidding me? I turned 20 the day before. A lot's changed in eight years. Oh, yeah! We won the 500. I was like, hey, this is what's going to happen every weekend. This is awesome. And I went through six years, seven years of just struggle, really. Trevor is grateful for the challenges and tremendous highs that outweigh the lows. He married Ashton and took on a new title, Dad. Your head's spinning. You feel like you can't keep up. Um, you're chasing kids around. That's about as fast paced as a racetrack ever was for me. I just enjoy being around them so much and watching them grow and get to be a dad. You can play at your table. In 2018, Trevor wasn't a racing regular and began experiencing life off the fast track. Thank you. Yeah, buddy. Keep in mind, that's all I've known since I was five years old. And we've seen a whole new side of life now. At the end of 2018, Trevor lost his Roush racing ride. You know, it was 930 at night and I find out in a press release. Trevor decided it was time to hit the brakes. I never said I'm retiring. I'm putting my flag in the ground. I'm done with this because I still love it. But he says the door is closing every day, especially with the new coffee business. Well, just like racing, you want to be the best. So you get the best equipment, you get the best people to teach you. His young family traveled to the best coffee roasters in the world. And now they're pouring the international flavors here at home. We want to educate our customers on, you know, Ethiopian coffee versus a Mexican coffee or a Honduras coffee. There you go. I think this is our way to say thank you to our community and to Knoxville and um, for all the support all the years in racing. Speaking of racing, any future drivers? My wife hopes not. I can't say that I don't get excited when I see him on something with wheels. For now, he'll just sit back and enjoy the coffee. Hmm. He's a barista well, now. Yeah. Ashton, his wife, will sell flowers at the coffee shop as well. And the couple's welcoming their third child in December. A lot going on. Yeah, but a lot to be thankful for. Mahalo. Mahalo, absolutely. <laughs>